Hi everyone, today I'm doing one of my more informal discussions and today's topic is on magic. I thought magic would be an appropriate transition from the Lord of the Rings into Harry Potter since they both have lots of magic. Magic systems are generally hard or soft, though they can fall somewhere in between. I definitely prefer hard magic. I like having rules and restrictions. Soft magic where there aren't really any known rules or restrictions. I feel like it tends to be used as a plot convenience a lot and I don't really like that so I definitely tend to prefer harder magic systems than softer. I really like magic systems that include a variety of different things like you have spells and then you have potions and then you have magical objects. I really like seeing a mix of all of those instead of it just being magic coming from a person. However, there are some magic systems I like that are just people based magic. So I'm going to talk about some of my favorite magic systems. One of my favorites is the Grisha from Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I really like that magic system. I like how there are different categories of magical abilities. And my favorite is the shadow summoning. If you know anything about me, you know how much I love villains and shadow summoning and villains tend to go hand in hand, you know? So I definitely like the darkness of shadow summoning. But I also really like healing magic, so I like that they have some people who are healers. And then I also really like elemental magic, and they have summoners, and they can either summon fire, water, or air. And so I really like that as well. That is one that doesn't really have a mix. You don't see potions, really, or magical objects. It's really just people-based powers, but I still really like the way it is set up. Of course, I like Harry Potter's magic system because that's one that has that really wide variety. I particularly like the objects in Harry Potter, but the spells and potions are great as well, so I really like the way that is done. And again, there are a lot of rules and restrictions, like you have to have a wand, you have to know the spell, you have to know the movement that goes with the spell, etc, etc. And so I really like how that magic system is done. I think the magic system from Fablehaven is fairly similar. You don't have like wands and spells, but you do have this like huge variety and they tend to use objects and potions a lot, but they do have some people-based magic as well. And so again, I really like seeing that mix. And again, I really love the objects. I love magical items. Can you tell? Another one that I really like, and it's just part of a magic system, is the One Ring from The Lord of the Rings. Like, who doesn't like the One Ring? The entire trilogy centers on this piece of jewelry, and it's really magical and powerful and amazing. So I definitely like the One Ring. Then there's Aragon by Christopher Paolini, and while I don't love this magic system as much as I love some of the others, I do like the idea behind it. The whole language that you have to know and those words allow you to control the magic. Like, I think that's pretty interesting, and I also like the restrictions that the magic takes from your energy, and I think that's a pretty common trope where you have to have energy in order to use magic and I really like what the Grisha do with that where they subvert that and using their magic actually makes them stronger and healthier and doesn't make them tired so I really like that subversion. Harry Potter on the other hand there is nothing energy based so it doesn't really fall into that category of using that trope. Another one that I really like is the force from Star Wars. That one I don't know if you would call that hard or soft. I don't know exactly where that would fall on the spectrum because we don't really learn what all the force can do and what it can't and how exactly it works. I think it probably leans a little bit closer to soft magic, but I think it's kind of in between. But I do really like the force, particularly the dark side. The dark side is the best side. Do not let anyone tell you differently. So that magic is amazing as well. And then another one. This book 
feels more sci-fi to me, but it has magic in it because you have people who have magical abilities. It's played off more as like superheroes though, which again is kind of more sci-fi, but I'm going to include it because it is magical powers. And that's Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. And that one I find really interesting because they're able to like organize all of the powers into different categories because some powers are stronger than others and different people have different combinations of powers and the whole source of these powers is really interesting like that was an interesting reveal in the trilogy and yeah I just find that really interesting that we have all these people who just like randomly develop superpowers and they have these different combinations and different varying strengths and they also have a weakness they all have a weakness to them that allows them to be defeated so that's also really interesting earlier i mentioned that i like elemental magic so of course i like the bending in avatar the last airbender i like seeing the different elements included there and people being able to manipulate them and use them i find that really interesting in terms of just more general magic that I like to see, again, I mentioned already that I really like the healing magic and the elemental magic, and I also really freaking love the magical objects because they are amazing. So those are just some like general things I like to see in magic systems. There's only one magic system I could think of that I'm not a huge fan of, and that one is also from Lord of the Rings and it's because it's very very soft magic and it is used as a plot convenience on occasion and that's the magic that the wizards have like Gandalf and Saruman and I don't think it's bad in any way I just personally don't like how we have no freaking idea what these two wizards can do and so they just you know use their magic when the plot requires it and so I'm not a huge fan of that but again that's more personal taste and has absolutely nothing to do with how that was written so that's really it I have on magic for some reason I just have not read a lot of books with magic in them I'm trying to think of like other books and there are some others that have magic in them but it's not as prominent as it is in these books so I decided not to include them let me know in the comments what your favorite magic system is and if there's a magic system you don't like and why. I'm interested to see your answers. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. I hope you all have an amazing day.